Hey, Sasha and Scream Queens, and welcome back to the Horror Daddies Podcast. Where we talk about horror movies. And the gods in them. Dear Lord Santerefico. Okay. Okay. My name is Father John. Mm-hmm. Umberto? I'm the priest boy, Carlos. Oh. Author boy, Carlos? Author I need to, boy. I need to speak to you later. Of course. In my dungeon downstairs. It's always, not even. It's always the priest. <laughs> 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 but... What movie did we watch today, Carlos? Today we watched the first Omen. And not like the original Omen. <laughs> the first Omen. The 2024. The Omen movie. The first Omen. The No, this is the sixth Omen movie. Are they really? Okay, so there's actually four in the original timeline. This one will make it five. Then there's a remake. Which in the remake, I didn't know that the dad is played by Lieb, Lieb Uh, Sabretooth. Is he Sabretooth? Logan's brother. In X Men. Okay, which one? Because there's one in the the, the newer ones. Oh, okay, okay. Oh wow, That's the it. high guy. Oh mm-hmm. shit. And then the cotton, mom, cotton, cotton. Yes, cotton. Oh shit. And then the mom is is um is Esther's mom in the prequel. Oh. To orphan. Mm-hmm. Oh sh- Oh damn. Yeah. You I learned watch that. that. That's a two hot people. I heard it's not that. I heard it's just just watch the original. Maybe to look l- nice to look at. Maybe. Maybe. And then so then the original is four movies. Okay. So we see Damien at least grow up in one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. And the fourth one is his daughter that we no one I guess knew it was she. He had a daughter and his hair is terrible. Mm. Um, but then in the third one, you know who's a Damien? Who Damien? Alan Grant. What? Yeah. Wait, little Alan, like a little version of him. Or like he grown? No, he's he was already like in his thirties. Oh, okay, okay. But you know what's funnier? What he was in possession. Who this movie takes a bit of imp- oh inspiration God. from? God, I I knew that for oh I watched a stream where he was talking about possession because mm-hmm. they're doing a remake, like an American remake. That of and it. then like the 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 dance in this movie took inspiration from yeah. that movie. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. like, that's literally straight from this movie, which I, I do have a. It's all connected. I feel like I have a thing about that that scene that I maybe I'm thinking too much about it, but okay. I'll mention it when we mention okay. it. Uh-huh. But that's crazy. I didn't know there was like fucking six movies. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's I a franchise. Have a lot of homework to do. It's a franchise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh great! Well, <coughs> so without spoiling the movie just yet, mm-hmm. what did you think of the movie? I know this is like your second time watching it, right? Yes, it was, and I loved it. Okay. I loved it, loved it, loved it. You know, religious horror is not really what I go for. Me neither. I'm except the Conjuring. Like I have a look because those are kind of like fun to watch. And it's like it's not like central right. into the Catholic mm-hmm. Church or whatever. Or if it's like goofy, like the Pope's Exorcist, also <laughs> loved it. But like I'm one that's like, I grew up religious, so I was like, I don't want to stop shoving this in my fucking face. Yeah, exactly. Uh so like, but this one. I don't know. It's the way it's shot beautifully. The atmosphere the, in this movie yes, is fucking great. Yes. The score is kind of sexy in a weird way. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of feel it. Yeah. And it's also like there's no jump scares in this movie, which I no. realized. I was like, there's zero jump scares, with, which I'm, I'm down for. Because a lot of the scares, fuck, they got me still. Because they be tricking your ass. Mine, was, like, the, mine was the nun going, Aye. Yeah, that one. I was like, I was like, oh, she's going to run at her or something. Then she went, Aye. and I was like, whoa, that like got me. It just wasn't expected, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I like that. Like, they tried something different. Also, this movie is saying something, on even though, even though it's just about the Antichrist. It's mm-hmm. saying more than that. Yeah. Because... When she arrives at Rome, there's this whole thing with protesting and uh, working and wages or whatever. So it's saying now we are in a time where like people are, you know, are waking up. They're waking up to all these struggles. And yeah, when we we need more money, work is not easy. And Mm -hmm. inflation is 1971. Right. And inflation isn't easy. It's also saying how, you know, the big people are turning away from the church. We live at a time where, yeah, we grew up religious, but. Us now that the ones that have kids, because I don't, <laughs> we're not teaching our kids religion because we don't see like we don't yeah. want to grow, have them basically grow up how our parents try to yeah. grow us up. So they're also saying that how the younger generation is kind of forgetting about religion. Yeah. And they and and this movie is in a way saying like, you know, trying to teach them not to forget, which is probably why we get so many religious horror movies. It's probably. to kind of, it's like, hey, oh, this exists, blah, 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 to kind of keep people still believing, even though they're going up not believing. Yeah, because it's also, I, like, know, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I was getting at. No, but I also got from it too, is that this church is like corrupt in a way where it's like, they're losing power over these people. Mm-hmm. 
And we get to find out why, like, later into the movie. But they're losing power with the younger generation that are protesting and straying away from church. And they want to just bring them back. So they're, they're, they went desperate, desperate times mm-hmm. call for desperate as measures because yeah. they get desperate mm-hmm. and it's fucking crazy, mm-hmm. which love. I love that idea. Cause yeah, I, me too. At first it kind of felt like a very g- generic, like religious. I was like, this is just exorcist. You had the crazy. And, and, and that's, that's my problem with every religious movie. It feels like the same. Movie. It feels like the same movie over and over. But this one, I don't know. This one just hits different for yeah. me. I really, I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> I watched it. Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Don't know why I didn't think this. I don't know. It was two hours long, and I was like, "Damn, this movie's not over yet." And then I looked. I was like, an hour left. I was like, "Oh, this is two hours." Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh mm-hmm. shit," because it felt like halfway through the movie. I thought like it was ending, and I was like, "Oh okay." Um, you see, it didn't feel like I wasn't bored. No, no, I wasn't, I wasn't bored either. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I, I, I think this movie does have a moments where I'm like, we can trim mm-hmm. a couple of these parts because they don't really ever come back, mm-hmm. and it's. It feels like it's just more setting up. You also see Satan's dick. Wait, how does he see Satan's dick? You must have blinked. Oh, the one with the... That goes like that? No, no, no. Oh. You see a full-on erected dick. What? Mm-hmm. I, I must have blinked for sure. I'll show, remind me before you leave. Okay, okay. That's mm-hmm. fine. That's crazy. I didn't know remember It looked that. like one of those... um weird looking dicks oh, you see dragon? at spencer's what is mm-hmm. it called like bad dragon yeah mm-hmm. bad dragon mm-hmm. sponsor like us bad dragon <laughs> i'll try it we'll have it right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's in one of the visions when she's oh mm-hmm. okay you see it i must have completely missed that i know we see some p- which also so apparently the mpa had a had a problem with that scene but it wasn't the hand coming out of it it was just the vagina oh my god the hand was fine but the vagina was not. Oh, okay. And I was like, okay. okay. And also the Satan's dick, that's fine yeah, too. Yeah, no, it's like, hey, that's good. Because it, it probably is to look like a bad dragon. They're like, also, ah, whatever. it's a horror movie about birthing a child. Yeah. <laughs> like, hello. It, wow. I guess. But anyways, MPAA said, Puh is bad. I really loved it. Um, I, I, ho- I know it's connected to like the original fourth timeline movie. Mm-hmm. But I would like for them to kind of do a train and kind of go a different like keep it connected but then do another timeline because like it's kind of like 2018 kind of yeah because i think it would be very interesting for these three women to go after him when he's older yeah very like i guess fuck i'm gonna say it 2018 (laughs) yes You got because the way I don't know the way it ended. I was like, hell yeah! You got Margaret like in a tank top, fucking building mm-hmm. a weapon out of holy water. And you can shit. call them the six 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 because they each have the mark of the devil, and they're all sisters. That's true. And the sinister you, six. Yeah, they're sisters and mom sisters. <laughs> oh yeah, because he he, yeah, he is he, he raped his daughter. Yes, our <laughs> our word his daughter. <laughs> I said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I guess that yeah, that would be kind of interesting to mm-hmm. see. I do we know if there's a sequel to this or like if they're oh, ever I gonna? I, I don't know. know. It's I, just it's just right now it's connected to like the original because it's a prequel. Yeah, this movie felt like I never felt lost. Mm-hmm. I have never seen the original Omen movies, so like I can give you I some homages that yeah. happen that I've caught. Yeah, it's like from, a, what I, from what I something I comes back. Mm-hmm. But I never felt lost watching this movie. <laughs> there was never a moment where I was like, "Oh, this must be something that they do in the first movie that." I don't know about Mm -hmm. never at any moment. I feel like you could watch this movie alone and be fine. Mm -hmm. And even the ending Mm -hmm. where we get like a, Hey, this boy was, this boy has a name and Mm -hmm. it's Damien. And it's like, Oh, I know that's a kid from the Omen. That's all I know. So people that are attached to the, uh, what I'm getting, people that are very attached to the original timeline, they're like, that's kind of stupid. We like that that whole like the ending was kind of dumb. It is kind of dumb. It feels like a very Avengers. Yeah. It's, but people that don't know, like, I mean, I knew his name was Damien, but I'm not attached to that. Like I was with Exorcist Believer. Like I'm not attached to the Exorcist, so that's why it didn't bother me as much. Yeah. Even though this one's way better, this is what the Exorcist <laughs> Believer should have been. But <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know. I was kind of like, hell yeah, let's go. I I love the whole action thing. You know what? We got a very good serious movie. Let's go crazy. I let's go crazy honestly, for the sequel. I feel like that's the best way to do mm-hmm. it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like. Because the ending, we'll just say it right now. It literally is just there. He went to go tell them like, "Hey, the boy is alive." Mm-hmm. Blah blah, and they know you're alive. Father Brennan, friend of Brennan, mm-hmm. and then it, I love that all you see is the back 
side of him and he turns around i fucking swear to god for a second i thought it was gonna be samuel jackson being like <laughs> we're building a team to go against damien yeah. your son it's like <laughs> what because <laughs> it felt so set up like a like an avengers movie but i i loved it i thought it was great i think there's so many little things that i think this movie does really well and it's so creepy without it being like on your face creepy mm-hmm. uh those moments were like she was like I can't watch like I'm I'm freaked out. It has so mm-hmm. much tension and then there's no jump scare to it. Mm-hmm. It's like it it literally just leaves you with like tension mm-hmm. t- tension and it's so good. Like I I really And I think it. I'm really obsessed with the aesthetic and by aesthetic I mean like the way it was shot. Yeah. Like there are certain shots that I'm just the like cinematography just, Yeah, the it. cinematography. I just want to stare at it. Mm-hmm. And the club scene, a little problematic because of what he does, but yeah. I was like, "Ooh, it's like damn. Damn, take me back to my 18 <laughs> This is 71 row. Fucking like, making out and licking faces. Like, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that, I was like, what's happening in this scene? Like, they're nuns. I'm like, damn, you got Sister Luce over here looking good as hell. Yeah, look like Dua Lipa and a blonde wig. I literally said that. I was mm-hmm. like, I don't know what's it's doing it for me. Don't do me, baby. Yep. Yeah. But I was like confused. Cause I was like, aren't y'all nuns? <laughs> well, that, that was the thing she was telling her. Let's have fun before we are ceremony. Actually, like, mm-hmm. turn into a nun. That's why I was like, I think that's what it was. She's Yeah, she literally says a line like, let's show off, let's show off our bodies, because then after this, it's just going to be just, in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But before but yeah. we get to the meats and grits of the movie, and, you know, everything, did you fight any demons? Bitch, I fought demons. Tell Actually, last, su- last Sunday after okay, we filmed. T- hold on, let me put the thing. All right, confess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, father. Uh, so we went to after after we leave here, we go home and we uh, we're like, hey, you want to eat something? Mm-hmm. You know, we enjoy it. And I'm like, yeah, let's stop at Burger King. And I thought I found this so funny because we're ordering food. It's nothing. Everything's normal. It's like what? Midnight, maybe like 10 o'clock, actually. So then we go and she's like, hey, can I get a coffee? Because we try to stay up as mm-hmm. much as we can on Sunday. And <laughs> I was like. Uh, hey ma'am, do you mind? Uh, is is it okay if I can get a a, a iced coffee? And she went no, like instantly no. And I'm like, all right, I guess okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, so rude. I was like, all right, I guess no coffee for me. You just gotta go to Dunkin'. <laughs> I no Dunkin' closes early. I, you know that's true. So does Starbucks, and I'm like, why? They close. I got eight. I'm like, what about us, motherfuckers? Yeah, some people work at night. They don't care. No, they don't. They're like, it's not worth it. No. I get it. Some of them need to go to sleep. And that's why you go to Wawa. I know. Mm-hmm. I know each other. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I found that so funny. I thought that was a funny, <laughs> funny thing that happened. It was just so comedically timed. Like, can I have coffee? No. Oh, she okay. was she was over. She was probably like at the end of her day. <laughs> it's so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but did you fight any demons? Um, not really. But I will say that I was leaving my house the other day. I mm-hmm. left a little early to get a couple shirts for uh of a bonus episode we're doing. Oh. Um and. There were two nuns walking across my house. Bitch, I was like, where the fuck did they come you heard, from? Ah. She, she turned around and said, hey. No, <laughs> like, no, it was just so weird because I'm leaving and they're just walking. They're just walking down. I don't know if they live here Damn, or yes. what's happening. Like, I I try not to look in case they try to stop me. Like, but they were just. Homo. They were, I probably. They were just walking. I was like, hmm, interesting. That's creepy, bro. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Open your mouth. Let me see the roof of your mouth. No. Mm-hmm. I know you hiding I, something. I, that's like one thing that bothered me. Uh, yeah, me too. I was like, girl, okay, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? They kind of lost me a little you bit. You not there. wash your hair, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but okay. So the first Omen, directed by Arkasha Stevenson. Uh, writers are Tim Smith, Keith Thomas, Ben Ben Jacoby. Yeah, Ben. Ja- I can't read my handwriting, y'all. I'm ben so sorry. Jacoby. Ben Jacoby and Arkasha Stevenson. Uh, it had a budget of 30 million worldwide and made 53.8 million. Pretty good comeback. Okay. Um, the synopsis for The Omen is uh, one second. I'm never ready. I have it on Letterbox. Oh, you, if you, I'll do the MBD one if you do that. When a young American woman is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the church, mm-hmm. she encounters the darkness that causes her to question her own faith and uncovers a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of evil incarnate. I'm Jesus B- Christ. <laughs> IMBD. Same synopsis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Taglines for the first omen. Or I you see, this is why I gotta start. I got one here. What's that one? Create something to fear. Okay. 
That's kind of whack. I'm that's that's lie. that's one of them on here. All right, the next one is uncover the terrifying secret behind the birth of evil. What? Mm. On the sixth day, on the sixth month, on the sixth hour, he will be born. Ooh, sick. Wow. <laughs> Little did they know, they would be born. Yup. Which I feel like yeah. those kind of spoil a little bit. I mean, I guess if you've seen the omen, I guess maybe you know. But like, I felt like the birth thing kind of came out a little bit. Like it sets it's set up later in the movie. It's not like the first thing in the movie. Like they don't set up it. They don't set it up right away. Wait, I'm lost. Like the okay. birth of like the the, uh-huh. the Antichrist. Like uh-huh. that's set up like later in the movie, not like right away. So I feel like those taglines are kind of like, oh, you kind of spoiled it a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess if you're going in, they shouldn't know what what the movies, whatever. I guess not you know? me. No, a movie should be just as available for people that have I never think, seen the movies. Uh, Every that's why I think a prequel. They should a prequel and, should always be a good standalone movie. Yes, and I did, and I did forget to say that that you know prequels are an issue, but because of this reason, because you kind of know what's happening. But I did like that it was two of them. Yeah, that that was interesting. Changes it up a little oh. bit. So I, I thought because it's like we know Damien's gonna be born, we but just, then it's revealed that it's, there's something there's a sister, mm-hmm. and she is, you know, mm-hmm. she's Jesus, yeah, and he's not, <laughs> he's cr- he's the devil. Well, we don't. She could be too. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm gonna go through the cast real quick. Yeah, uh, we do have a pretty big cast here. Uh, we have uh, Margaret, or sorry, Nell Tiger Free. Let's get those tigers free. Uh, as Margaret. Ralph Einensen as Father Brennan, Sonia Braga as Sister Sylvia, mm-hmm. Bill, Bill Nye the Science Bill Guy, Bill Nye, Bill Nye, Bill Nye, Bill Nye. oh the Science Guy, Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> you know it's funny people, people kept talking like I was I would listen and people were like oh yeah Bill Nye and whatever and I'm like Bill Nye's in the first Omen <laughs> you're like you're like looking for him yeah and I was like where is he. <laughs> but it's because it's spelled it's spelled differently, but it's pronounced the same. Oh, interesting. Okay, he's uh Cardinal Cardinal Lawrence. Yeah, and I was like, that's not Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's some old motherfucker, yeah. but that's not Bill Nye. Uh, Maria Caballero mm-hmm. as Luz. Oh my God, as uh Nicole Sorcy as Carlita. Mm-hmm. Thon Feek Barham as Father Gabriel. Gabriel. Charles Dance as Father Harris. Uh. Ishtar Curry, Curry Wilson as Sister Angelica. Uh, Andre Archangel as Paolo. Uh, where is... Where's... Uh, Paolo, Paolo can't find. Did, we, I did I already mention this girl? Oh, Carlita, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's basically Her it. first movie. Oh, good for her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. She looked familiar, and I was like, where is she from? You know, like, they, looked, they look like sisters. They, like, literally look like sisters. But she also looked like the little girl from Logan. Um, she's in this. Oh, I'm watching the show Acolyte now, mm-hmm. and she's in it. And uh, I was like, man, she looks just like her. It's I just weird. watched the X Men: The Last Stand today. Oh yeah? yeah, how was that? Yeah, is that the one? I'm joking, dog, bitch. Yep, <laughs> yep. That's my favorite. I yep. love that shit. Yep. I was like, I remember I got that movie for Christmas, and I was like, I'm gonna watch this every single day for the rest of my life. And then now you're like, I watched it two fine. days after that. <laughs> That's it. Next up, the third day you're like, it's kind of bad. I'm done. I'm done. I was obsessed with that movie. <laughs> Um, All right, so we are getting into the movie. Yeah, so Father Brandon comes to visit uh, Father Harris about the conspiracy that's happening within the church. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a baby, Sienna, that was born, and they're trying to figure out where she is now. Now, so they walk out, and then, you know, Father Harris kind of walks away from it because he's kind of freaked out. He gives him a picture of the baby. Mm-hmm. And what happens is that there's construction happening. They set up, like, they're just, like, zooming mm-hmm. into this construction. Mm-hmm. So this is from the original. Oh, gotcha. So, okay. Father Brandon, Father, this they changed it up. Father Brandon in the original dies this way. Oh. Towards the end of the movie. Okay, okay. Not the beginning. So. So, it's like. If you don't know, then, you know, you could think he was going to. So, okay, I'm not, I'm just going to say, I didn't think no one got hit. Yeah, because it's kind of like a. Mm-hmm. Like, also. Very in, fast. In the original, someone gets decapitated with a piece of glass. So I thought that was going to happen. But no. Not the pole part. Yep. The pole part, I didn't know because I did fall asleep watching the first one. Uh, or the, the 1976 you need to one. You yourself, Carlos. I am sorry. And 
So when he turned around and it was on, it was the poor head hit gush, gushed his head. Yeah, bro, and, he got that head gussy. Yeah, and he was, and then he just started smiling, and I was like, <laughs> He's like "Oh I'm no, mm hmm, no, you not, sir. No, <laughs> you pretty dead." <laughs> It, it like happens so fast. I'm like, oh, I thought he was gonna have a pole like stuck in his head. Like he was gonna zoom out I, and the pole's like, well, on top of his head. I thought it was gonna go through him, but it, I, it, it, it seemed hit, like it just hit the back. It just him. looks like it just goes behind him. So I was like, oh, that was a close one. We're like, Whoo. and then he turned around and I said, see the gush, and I was like, God damn. <laughs> but yeah, Father Brandon, they were, this is one of those that they changed it. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did a flip it in reverse. Mm -hmm. It's almost kind of like a he. That was one time he had it down later in the future. It's going to be him next. Yeah. It's oh, like a very fi final destination. Well, I guess, yeah. If, and if you then go watch The Omen, it then happens to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like he just missed death. Interesting. That's true. Oh, okay. Um, so then. This is where we meet Margaret. Yeah. Uh, uh, and she, Gabriel. She's from America. Yeah. And she's moving to Rome. Mm -hmm. uh, and she meets with Father Gabriel. Which I was like, oh, yeah. Maggie and Gabriel are biblical names. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, I was like, damn. So if your name is like Carlos, you can't be part of the church because your name is not biblical. Nope. Damn. Yeah, and she's meeting with the cardinal, Cardinal Lawrence. Yeah, Cardinal, cardinal Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. Ooh. I knows her. He knew her as a child, mm -hmm. but they're they're going. They're on their way to the church. We see the protesters, and he's letting them know how the young generation now. They're kind of not believing in God anymore. This is why people like Margaret are needed. Yeah. Which is kind of like already hinting at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need you, Margaret. And I was like, yeah, you need me a little bit more than what you're leading, leading on. Yeah. Sister Silva gives her a tour. Mm -hmm. Mother. Um, and every motherfucker's smoking. It's First, the 70s. Yeah. But in the Bible says don't poison your body. If I can't tattoo my body because I'm going to hell, then why the fuck you smoking? This isn't that kind of church, baby. As we find out. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, we meet not Angelica, who's acting really creepy like she already possessed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we also meet Carlita, uh, who is, seems to be a troubled child in the church. Uh, she seems to be the one that gets in trouble. We'll find yeah. out why later. She's weird because she spends her time inside and drawing. She's mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. She she's sick in the head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Margaret Margaret gets a driver, Luca, and because Roma right now is very dangerous with the protest. Of course. Uh, honestly though, I get it. We should start doing it too. Let's team up, America. Let's protest because the government fucking us. Yeah, I'm d I'm done getting tired. And if I go missing after I said this, y'all know why. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Get that bitch. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. That's that sounded slower. <laughs> Get that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um. So later that night, Maggie gets Maggie gets to her to her, to her like dorm dorm whatever. or whatever they're gonna sleep at. She starts to pray. Which did you find it weird? It was a corner bed. Yes. Like the bed was like in a corner. In the corner. Yeah. That feels so creepy to me. I don't know. Yeah. But it's not the first time because so it was uh, Jesse's in Nightmare Two. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was like this. No, but it was like that was facing the wall. It was like this. It was in the, it was, but it was cornered. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember it being like that. Because when he would wake up, it was like cornered. Oh, that's so weird. I guess that was the thing back in the day. Like, maybe. Maybe if the room is really big, it makes sense for maybe. a small bed to maybe give it, look at like it's less room. Maybe. That's what I, Joy said, uh, like, oh, you have space. For both sides, mm -hmm. so that way your bed's not in the middle of the room. So I guess that makes sense in a way. But you then it's like, like but then you have that rectangle, a triangle <laughs> yeah. back there that's empty. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's try it. I would put a tree, but then spiders. Which spiders in this movie? <laughs> that, a I, lot of spiders. I was like, girl, you wake up way too calm with that on your face. <laughs> She's like, oh. beautiful <laughs> shot though. Shot oh, of yeah. shot of the year, maybe. Mm -hmm. The uh, transitions in this movie too. Fantastic. Oh, I know. Fantastic. Trust me, that club scene is still in my head playing. Out, and then that shot comes right after. I'm like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This movie. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, there's a creepy jump scare with a nun that goes, ay, ay. Because it's like she puts her clo like her cloak, mm -hmm. her nun outfit, like on the frame of the closet. And then it looks kind of like a person, like someone yeah, yeah. crouching. But it's like a figure in the background. And she's praying. And the wind blows the curtain mm -hmm. and it covers and it immediately that transition is so smooth. And it just it's just a nun standing up and going, ah, mm -hmm. and ah. <laughs> 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 it, 
<laughs> it like just like that, and then like it's like yeah. a little jump scare. But it's so good because we don't have like that annoying sound, like a jump scare sound. It's not her coming out the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like it, a like a just, quick little thing. Mm-hmm. It's just so unexpected because I expected like a yeah. typical jump scare kind of thing, and it wasn't. It but was just we a do wild... find out that Margaret tends to have like visions and mm-hmm. weird things happen to yeah. her. So to her, she's seen hallucinations. She sees hallucinations. So, but we don't know. But this is this is like one of them, yeah. and I like that it's not like over the top. Yeah, it's like it's just subtle. like it's just this is what happens to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we do meet her root her new roommate uh loose mm-hmm. who's coming she's like very like i'm not gonna it's not underdressed but to margaret it's uh, underdressed dressed like a whore wow a harlot no wow. uh i don't know she i saw her shoulders that's a whore her body her choice which not is not in 71 which this movie is also talking about that that's true yeah. but it's not it's a church's property so, so <sighs> this movie <laughs> On the surface, yes, it's a possession or whatever movie. Uh, but in reality, you really dig into this movie. This movie is about the uh, a word. Yeah. It's about women not having the choice. Abortion. Yes. Oh. Women not having the choice of their body. Yes, yeah, true. Uh, p. Uh, it's pretty much how the government wants to fuck us, and like you can't have an abortion. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's not your body. It's not your choice. This movie is pretty much saying and that. And also how the church is trying to take control of the yes. world, basically. Yes. It's fucking like crazy. this movie is really ugh, woke, I guess. Yeah, no, it is. It's very woke. It's like hidden woke. Mm-hmm. That shit, like, mm-hmm. it's like people. It's like yeah, there's a demon involved, but in reality, this movie speaking truth. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. It is. Which I love that. I love that there's subtle things that is not obvious in the face. It's not mm-hmm. like we're like the world needs to wake up to the church. It's like yeah. very like subtle, like mm-hmm. how they're doing it. Mm-hmm. Um. But, but they like sister sisters because you know they want to yeah, go out clubbing. Yeah, but she but she kind of like you know she tells Maggie how she used to be kind of a troubled child but before, and that's how she met Cardinal Lawrence. He kind of like guided her, of course. Which in reality, she got he, groomed. and gaslighted her whole life. Yep. Um, I, I do like that the girls. There's like little girls teaching her like fake Italian, not like real Italian, but like telling oh. her is not. That's really what it means. Fart, fart. Uh, they call her something. Fart, fart Vela or something like that. Uh, she's saying like, oh, uh, some, uh, I'm a butterfly, but I want to fly. But they tell her that, oh, that just means that I'm a teacher and I like teaching. <laughs> and I was all like, her. Yeah, and I was like, damn, these little girls gaslighting her too. <laughs> um, hey, start them young. Yep. yep. Uh, she does notice Carlita getting a little punished here. But then later that night, they do go club. They go club. Yeah, love, she I, looking good. I loved this scene so much. But she is looking good. They got bisexual lighting mm-hmm. up in this bitch. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, even the lens flare looks at that bisexual flag. I was like, let's go. Yep, on. Yep. And Luz, you know, pretty much tells her, like, you know, you only get to do this. Well, you don't really get to do this once you're a nun. So, yeah. like, enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. And they find these two guys. Yeah, Paolo and I forgot the other the one. The other one's name. I don't know if it's here real quick. I don't I know it's Paolo Alfonso. Alfonso. And you know what I say to that? If you meet a Paolo, never trust him. Because last time and 20 years ago when I trusted a Paolo, he got my girl Lizzie McGuire on stage and motherfucker couldn't even sing. What did he do? Yeah. He couldn't sing. He couldn't sing. Yeah. Sing to me, Paolo. And he couldn't sing like ah, this is what you <laughs> You can't trust them Paolos. Oh damn! Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of many people that lip sync nowadays. That he actually yeah, no, he gaslighted Lizzie McGuire. Oh, and made her fall in love. It's like Enrique Iglesias. But then she had a doppelganger that could sing, and then that's where dreams were made of. You never seen the movie? It was literally takes place in Rome too. The Lizzie McGuire movie? Huh? I feel like I've seen it, but a long time ago. This so is what dream. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the song. Yeah. I made her. sing to me, Paolo. It's a whole meme. Nope. Okay, well, you're not cultured. <laughs> <laughs> but. Never trust Apollo. That was my point. But, okay, so what is the problematic thing that he did here? He's the one, from what I'm understanding, we don't see it, but he gets her drunk on purpose, so the birth thing happens. Really? I felt mm-hmm. like she was like, give, can you give me that drink? And he was like, okay. Yeah, but it it it's from what I'm understanding, he, what's it called when you pour something into the drink? He like did? he purposely did it to her. Mm-hmm. I don't think. And then he's freaking out. Oh, that's why he he was there when she was getting, you know, oh. by her dad. Oh, he was there. No, well, he was there. Oh yeah, he was there. Huh. Okay. I was like, what's happening? But I guess because I was like, she asked for the drink. 
she but did. I don't remember him pouring anything on but the But he drink. also did the... Um, I see, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. But I must say something. I think Margaret is being a little bit of a B-word in this scene. Because she's making fun of him for his accent. Well, she's from America. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> like, don't make fun of him. He's speaking English. That's true. Like, trying, at least. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you well, sl- like I forgot what word he said, but he kept, she keeps repeating it. And she goes, man, and like, in an accent. Oh, gorgeous. 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 Mm. And I'm like, damn, that's kind of rude. It's the 70s. I should, he should have been, like, speaking in, in Italian to her. And then he, she tries, and he makes fun of her, like, more. To see, like, okay, it doesn't feel good, right? Mm. Stop making fun of me. Yeah, I'm trying, bro. It's hard. And she out here in Italy Shut making fun of an up. Italian guy. Bitch. Like, bro, chill. Well, he deserves it for who he did. I guess that's true. I didn't know at this moment, okay? I should change mm-hmm. my notes for later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's... They're, they're, they're right there on purpose. Gotcha. Because there's, no there's no other way... Maybe Luz could have gotten her drunk on purpose, but you know, then she then the next morning Luz is like, "Well, I tried getting you off for him, but it was off of him, but it was very hard." But then it's revealed that he was there, so it's like, "Oh, okay, so this was a whole plan." But then I think when he was gonna confess to her, they kill him. Mm. Well, he kind of he was killed on purpose. What? Mm-hmm. How? I feel like I'm missing now. I'm missing context. Yeah, yeah, but that's not an accident. No, I don't think it was an accident. I think I think every everything was like purposely like planned. Now I feel like I'm missing so many things in between. Because which is why I love watching movies more than once. Hmm. I just I feel like I'm like I it just looked like an accident. I mean, yeah. So did the when they were trying to escape Rome looked like an accident, but it really wasn't. They weren't gonna let her leave. But in that one, it's set up like they're being followed. Yeah, this she's, one is. She's it. being followed the whole time. We just don't know it. I just, I, I guess I. The I minute, the minute she saw him, he ends up dying. Yeah, but because it, she's following him. But it feels so like I don't know. Like that motherfucker must have been sitting there for a while and then making sure Maybe. they see that he doesn't say nothing. It's, it's a possession. It's one of those like demon mod movies. No one ever lives. Hmm. I don't know. That feels weird to me. I feel now, like now I feel, like, I feel like I feel like everybody was being watched, and the minute he almost spoke about the mark, he gets murdered. I feel the devil's in work. Maybe I don't like that then, because I'm like he died in a. It seemed like an accident. Like he wasn't paying attention. And he crosses the street. It's like okay, yeah, you're gonna get hit. But it's like now it feels weird to me that like I guess we're jumping way front uh, ahead of the movie. But it feels so weird to me that that was planned. Like it's like if. It feels like a hereditary when this little girl gets her head. I'm mm-hmm. like, that feels so... How do you set that up? Like, that happens so fast. Like, it's not like he dies, like, in his own day. Like, he's like, okay, we're done Maybe with they're, they're not being you. watched, but just think of the power of the devil. And since he was going to speak on it, it wasn't a coincidence. It was the devil's work, and he died. I guess. I guess that's the only way to... Mm-hmm. Be like, I guess. I just thought it was, like, completely, like... Just like, looking, just like the sorry. accident with the priest in the beginning. But that, oh, that one, I guess that's true. But then Brennan, should, I guess, and I guess we don't know about Brennan. Like, is Brennan, he just locked inside well, all the time? Brennan ends up dying later in the yeah, other but movie. As much, he talks more about the mark than anybody in this movie, and he's fine. Well, he's in hiding. So, yeah, he, I guess he my claims that no is, one knows where he is. My thinking is that it's like he just stays inside. And then there. everyone else is being watched. And obviously the devil's at work here, so his child must be born. Yeah. So his plan can get ruined. So anyone that tries to speak on it dies. Yeah, I. It's it's accidents that look like accidents, but if you think about it, it's probably the devil's work. I think it should have been probably revealed then that they were, or at least hinted at that, because that feels to me that you're filling the blank. That doesn't feel like a conclusion that the movie tells you. It's just kind of like, a, hey, the, the devil's at work. That's just what it is. And it's like, I feel like they, we pretty should have gotten some confirmation that like, yeah, they've been trying to like, maybe there do is, this. maybe we watch it. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
she gets drunk mm-hmm. and she starts getting freaky dicky in mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's strobe lighting. Mm-hmm. And she she does what Carlita did to her mm-hmm. to Paolo and like licks his face mm-hmm. and then she blacks out. Mm-hmm. And this is the one that jumps to like a, a, a shot of the spider in her eye. Yeah. And it's like this really she pretty. she wakes up and she looks like Medusa. I, bitch, I thought mm-hmm. she was a Tim Burton character. Mm-hmm. She woke up with her hair all crazy and shit. And she was sweating. Mm. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot. And then, you know, she talks to Luz and she's like, oh, did I do anything crazy? And she's like, a little <coughs> bit. But I got you off. You know, you couldn't take your hands off him. And then she's like, but we'll keep it our little secret. Because mm-hmm. she, she kind of alluded that there was more to it. Yeah. And then she was like, we'll keep it a secret mm-hmm. between us. And then, yeah, because then throughout the movie, she starts seeing visions of a wall. And it's because she was there. Seeing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, she prays some more. And then she's, this is where she's approached by Father Brandon to like, like, hey, I, Sienna might be Carlita and we need that baby because there's this whole conspiracy thing happening. Yeah, blah, blah. And she, of course, this motherfucker's crazy. Like, he sounds insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's like, mm-hmm. you need to get away from me because mm-hmm. you're crazy. Um, And then Carlita's locked in the bad room and she doesn't like that. So she goes in and like. And I also like that the doorknob looks like Medusa. Dude, that was so creepy. That mm-hmm. doorknob, they don't sell that shit at Home Depot. No, but I and I but I think the doorknob was also supposed to represent like the way her hair was earlier. Yeah, too. I mm-hmm. think she's so, it's like symbolic of her. Like it's very because every That's time why she called wakes the, up, it's called the bad room. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. every time she wakes up, her hair is always like in those like strands mm-hmm. with like pointing upwards. And I was like, whoa, that looks so like like snakes because I guess snakes are supposed to be like. The devil's yeah. animal. It's like the temptation like, of mm-hmm. Eve, uh, uh, Eve mm-hmm. like with the the forbidden fruit and whatever. But Margaret does start bonding more with Carlita. She's she's sweet. yeah she's she sees her in Carlita because mm-hmm. she was also a troubled child when she was younger. So they start to bond. They kind of look like sisters too, which would make sense once we you find out everything. Yeah, they're connected mm-hmm. more than you think. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, I call her sister Goth. Yeah, because she looks. She, I for me, I was like, that's that's me a goth. I I had to look it up because she had like, like kind of invisible eyebrows basically, yeah. uh, and she like spends times with Carlita. So there's something happening with yeah. her. She knows a little bit more than everyone. Well, they ha- they do this drawing, mm-hmm. but then Angelica the nun she adds like a baby, a, a baby on her stomach because yeah. it's supposed to be her laying in bed mm-hmm. or Carlita laying in bed. And Margaret's side, that's not cute. That's not appropriate. Yeah. And she she laughs such, such a nun. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like she's being like trying yeah. to be nice about things, but then she like laughs and kind of goes like, "Oh, like," ap-. she kind of apologizes, but mm. she kind of leaves it like ambiguous. Like she's leaving hints here and there, and I think she's the good person in this church, mm-hmm. but it feels like she's being she's being forced to do like something she doesn't want to do. Yeah, which comes to her demise that mm-hmm. happens right now. So she. Pretty much lit, lights herself on fire and then hangs herself off the balcony, which is also from the original, except the fire part. Oh. Yep. Uh, in the original, the nanny says, this is for Damien, and then just hangs herself. Oh, shit. Well, in <clears> this <throat> one, I feel like it's the opposite of that, where it's like, she does not want to do this. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm I'm not participating in it, and then just kills herself. Do you think she's like one of the... She's like good. I think she's supposed to be good. Okay. Not like the marked ones. Oh, oh, that'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. But I don't guess I don't know because I guess we don't we don't really have confirmation. No, not of from that. Not, not least not from her. From what we know, only two babies were normal. Yeah, that, that's mm-hmm. that survived at mm-hmm. least. And it's so, Cause, well because they killed the ones that were not normal. Oh, I guess that's true. I thought <laughs> I thought it said that they died. Like they died. Well, I guess themselves. some of some of them, but then some of them, nah. they were like, no, mm-hmm. not you. <laughs> <laughs> but she does that, and I think it's that. I think she's forced to, and then she's she's trying to tell Carlita what's happening without saying it. Yeah, in case someone hears her. Oh, that's true. So I think, and she's weird. Mm-hmm. So she's quirky like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I think what happened. I think she was like, okay, because she seems like she's always watching. Because there's a scene earlier where she kind of peeks the corner, and I was mm-hmm. like, okay, and she's. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, "Oh hell no, bitch!" Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so then after this, this Margaret goes to see Father Brandon. He gives her the picture of the baby named Sienna, mm-hmm. uh, and they think that that could be Carlita, but they have to look for the mark. Now, Sienna, I looked it up. I was like, "Sienna has to mean something because all the babies are named Sienna." We find yeah. out later in the movie. Uh, it means mother of shadow or Mary of shadow, which oh. is a Greek thing. And then, then in the original, when her grave is dug up, Margaret's grave. Uh, it's a jackal, the skeleton of a jackal, oh. saying that the mother was like a jackal. 
Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. <laughs> With the dead baby. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, so then we do get this whole, like, exposition that there were two churches, the regular church and those that worship the devil. Of course. Uh, which is pretty much this one. Um, they believe his, believe his power. And then since tons of people are turning away from the church, they need... They need something or someone to make them believe again. Yeah. Um, so the girl would have the mark of the devil on her body and she would be born on the six months, six day, six hour. Yeah. Uh, so all these girls were born pretty much the same day. Yeah, I suppose it's just be different six, six, six. years, I guess. Yeah. And basically the whole point of the church is that everyone's protesting, everyone's leaving mm-hmm. and they're not believing in God. What is that word that, that they're being... Uh, Secular. Their their worst. The church's worst fear is that people are being secular, mm-hmm. which is basically leaving religion. Mm-hmm. And their idea is, let's give birth to the antichrist. Mm-hmm. They'll possess a little people here and there in the world, mm-hmm. and everyone's gonna come running back to the church. Easy peasy, baby. <laughs> what he's supposed to, he's supposed to end the world. But... <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's so psycho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They really think they could control that Antichrist and be like, everyone's going to come over. You know, it's funny. (laughs) Just going to make this a little. I'm going to make this movie bad. Why not talk to Jesus? Where's Jesus in all of this? Because Jesus is not real. He dead. Okay, but the devil is. Sometimes it be like that. This world's fucked up. It's like, wow, Jesus, you really not going to come down, make people bully. So I got to go do it. I got to. And this is why we don't like your ass. He was ass. off the clock. He was off the no. clock. He's like, I'm off. He's never, he's never off the clock. He's always working. Okay. A religious person will tell you this. Mm-hmm. He gave us free will. So we have to deal with it ourselves. Okay. So. Probably, I guess. Right. How the fuck are you going to revive Jesus? Well, I feel like they also betray the devil later. We'll get to it. Yeah, it, it's it's almost like a we're fending done. for themselves. We're done with you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I do think I've always thought th- about this. It's like if God, right? The whole idea of God is that He's gonna be, He's gonna come back, mm-hmm. and then He's gonna be one of us, and mm-hmm. then save us, right? Mm-hmm. What if someone that's like in Puerto Rico? I remember having a na- uh, there was like a homeless person that lived around us that was like, um, oh, he was he thought he was like. God incarnate. He was mm-hmm. like, I'm Jesus. I'm mm-hmm. here to save you and blah, blah. And I was like, how do we not know that he's being for real? How do you know that person is Jesus? Like, what if someone comes up and it's like, I'm Jesus. Like, be, like Jesus trying to tell us like, yo, I'm here. And then we're just like, ew, get out of here. Because you see Jesus as like, this all being. Yeah. Yeah, but. Like a regular person. Yeah, but like, how is he going to prove to us? Like, like. Walk turn, on water. Walk yeah, on water. Turn, turn water. Bo- that, so, so he has to do that like what if he can he's like hey that was shit was made up okay but i, I can't but, do that so here's the thing you can't do that but here comes satan doing all these crazy ass shit on the world <laughs> and you can't turn water into wine so where are you when we need you <laughs> maybe he's building a team yes i always understand I'm like how the fuck like what if god can't do all these things that we we're like we've always been known about Sorry, we had technical difficulties yeah. just then. So okay, what well, that's you saw that shit? That's the devil talking. Right, which is why Paulo died because he almost spoke. We got to make sure that Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, if we see a guy coming screaming I'm Jesus, mm-hmm. we got to believe him. Okay. Or be like, bitch, turn this shit into wine. Let's see. You know one time at Taco Bell, I was <laughs> I asked for a water cup. <laughs> I asked for a water cup and they I got, gave you a Baja Blast. No, like, bitch, I, I got a little, I got a little Kool Aid because I was like, I want a little juice. And, and asked for a cup of water. And asked for a cup of water. Um, I, you know, when people, Maybe when that's I work, what Jesus did. Well, when I worked at fast food, I didn't care what people did. I was like, here, just take the water cup. It's fine. It's not like you're gonna get so much soda out of yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but the guy walks up to me, one of the employees, not, not even a manager, an employee, and I was, he's like, oh, I didn't know you can turn water into wine. And I looked at him like, yeah. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucker. No, this Taco Bell. Ball. Yeah, bro. Let's... You don't get paid enough for that shit. Yeah. Like, just mind your business, bro. Um, It's not like I was being rude. No. I was being very nice. I'll ask for a water cup. You didn't see nothing else. Yeah, that's it. Mind your business. No, he's doing the same thing. I was like, here's a water cup. I'm turning away now. <laughs> <laughs> um, But they they end up going to like a museum of some sort this is where her and carlita kind of talk a little more yeah and they kind of confess about the whole seeing things um 
uh, seeing visions and stuff, being weird, being weird things. Mm-hmm. And Carlita kind of gets upset at her because she's kind of like, I don't know, like Mar- Maggie's kind of like, well, you're going to be okay. Yeah. It's kinda, like she doesn't know what's actually mm-hmm. happening. They just think that they're torturing her because she's, she's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So Carlita walks away angry. Maggie follows. But then what she sees is that Angelica is hovering over Carlita, like putting her hand behind her back. Mm -hmm. And then the nuns interrupt and then the riot breaks out outside. So they have to leave. And Margaret gets caught in the middle of it. And like there's a demon hand going around her. That gropes her and everything. There's a tongue that licks her. Yep. It's very nasty. Very nasty. Um, So then... Maggie is called into Silva's office and Silva's like, you and you need the whole car. You and the whole Carlita thing need to like, stop. You need to leave that girl alone. She's just trouble. Yeah. And Margaret defends her. And I really like this because also very woke. She's like, the reason she's like this is because of y'all and the way y'all treat her. Yeah, it's true. Which some parents. Yep. Yeah, that's that's like, how we turned out sometimes the way we are. Yeah, and we're like, look, look at us, all fucked up and mm-hmm. probably need to be medicated. Because you thought therapy wasn't a real thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and I'm not speaking about my mother. You know, I'm just saying. You okay? You need to talk afterwards? No, I'm fine. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> I'm but fine. no, it's like it's true. It's like this girl probably is fine. But like I guess we get to see more of what's mm-hmm. happening. Mm-hmm. But like Margaret right now, she's like, yeah, just treating this girl like she's evil mm-hmm. for no fucking reason. It's like she's probably being tortured by you guys. And mm-hmm. then you expect her to be normal afterwards. Like, yeah. no, she's being she's fucking fucked up in the head because of y'all. The way y'all abusing her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little did she know. No, did she know? <laughs> Uh, so the next, uh, or that same night, Maggie's on her, gets on her way home, but she sees Paolo on the street. So she stops and goes after him like, Hey, hey what's, what's happening? Up? Yeah. And he keeps going like, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. I can't talk to you. Mm-hmm. And as he's walking away, she asks him one more time. He's like, Oh, and as he's telling her about the mark, he gets hit by a car and pinned mm-hmm. down the middle in half. Yep. Um, I, at the waist, at the waist or down the middle in half. No, he got pinned like a. <laughs> Like a like a laying down bagel, a lay, and then you cut down? it. Yeah, laying down and you cut it. But like you cut it like how you're supposed to eat it, or like like that. No, like that, like like a sandwich. It'll make a U. Because oh, so you have two four U's basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just this scene. I was like, this is scary movie three. Literally, <laughs> can I talk to the top half? <laughs> <laughs> um. But she pulls him out thinking that she's saving him. Little did she know that all she pulled out was the top half. And I'm like, damn, girl, he must have not weighed a lot because that was strong. Yeah. I mean, now you can say he's fully top. That's true. <laughs> That's true. He was cute, too. I yeah. For him. I know. Yeah, she prays some more. She prays because, I mean, she has to pray after seeing her. But I like fucking that. love this shot of her praying because it pans out and the candles look like a face. Mm-hmm. That monster house. It looked like monster house. Yep. We have the candles, like uh, the eyes and the teeth. And you see this face later on the wall, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one of the drawings. Um, So then Lou starts to have her ceremony. She's becoming a nun. So while while this is happening, Maggie sneaks into Silva's office and she takes all the files on the Siennas. And then as she's trying to sneak out of the church, they notice her ass and they the nuns whoop her ass and they throw her (laughs) into the bathroom. I love that she (laughs) even grabs like the little stick and she's like trying to. Yeah. Like hit somebody, the nuns just go for her. They yeah. don't give a fuck. I'm like, girl, I would have kind of dumb. You literally carrying something. You disappear in the middle of a ceremony. Yeah, and you, and you just grab Carlina and start running away. But Father Gabriel was there too. But, but he, he doesn't do anything. No, no. It's all the all the other nuns. Mm-hmm. He he kind of stays back. He's one. Cause and if, they don't make it obvious either. He no, kind of just disappeared. I was like, what happened? Because if you speak, you die. Yep. You gotta stay quiet. Um. So they take her to the bathroom. They take her to the bathroom. So she's kind of asleep there for a second. And her it's nighttime falls. Her hair's all crazy uh, again. Again, like yep. Medusa. And then she notices these paintings on the ground. And then she's realizing that she's seen these before, these it's drawings. Mm-hmm. And it's Carlita has been, I'm assuming, having them too. Yeah. And drawing them on the floor. Mm hmm. Uh, we do find out where this room is later. Mm-hmm. We also, this is where we see the, the devil's dick. I wrote it down. The devil's dick. Mm hmm. I wrote it down where you see it. I don't remember seeing the devil's dick. Yeah. But anyways, I'll show you. But anyways, um, st- we find out that there's been multiple Siennas. Mm-hmm. 
A lot of them since yes. like the fifties. And they're keeping files of every child that was born in like June six mm-hmm. that they've had themselves. Oh, this is when Carlita's trying to help her, and she also notices the mark on in oh, the, yeah. on the bottom of her. So this is her confirmation, like, oh damn, Carlita is the end. And she she's the mark. She's a marked one. Yeah. Which I don't know. About oh yeah, this is where we see the, the marked in the mouth. I was kind of like, oh, she's a little weird. I don't, I kind of. I wish that, like I wish that all of them were just born with the same mark, same place. But then I guess we wouldn't know who the real one was. Yeah, because they they explain like, mm-hmm. oh no, this one had a marking. The baby that they're trying to find, the, they find out they that find it's out. it's on his skull, and when because he gets rescued by Gabriel. Yeah, yeah, and, and then we find out Gabriel has been working with Father Brennan the whole time. Yeah, and they find out she brings the files. They're like, thank God, we love mm-hmm. you, and. Mm-hmm. They're noticing, they're trying to find this perfect match for the baby photo, but they notice that the baby is not Carlita. There's like, this is a picture of Carlita when she was young. They're not even the same baby. Nope. But so then the missing picture one, it says that the mark is on their, on their, her head. Even though in the picture, it looks like it's in the front of the head and she looks behind. Oh, you know, baby's got big heads, no hair. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And basically they find the photo, they match it. And then like who who could it be like mm-hmm. i don't know who this could be at all i didn't know there was another survivor mm-hmm. and it's uh maggie starts realizing wait a second and she starts flash- she starts flashing back to, to the club scene yep. because he felt her mm-hmm. and i guess he felt it and he said in slow-mo like looked for the mark right mm-hmm. before dying and she goes like this and the mark is right on her fucking head which okay fine it's somewhere where she can't see it but like girl do you like wash I mean, your head? Do you feel like nah, bitch? Cause... You're seventy-one. Okay. They got candles back in the day, so I'm assuming no mm. head and shoulders. They had shampoo. Maybe you know nuns. They kind of like I don't know. They 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 probably think like washing your hair is is a harlot thing to do. I don't know. I don't know. It's when it's inside of that thing they be wearing it. Or maybe I feel like she washing her head and she probably didn't realize because she's like, okay, my my scalp is is shaped weird. I don't know. She probably's like, whatever. It's just how I was born. But then she does this. It's like, oh shit. Because she probably feels now that she has the context. She's like, wait, oh, f- I wish we had a scene of her shaving her head and you see it. That would have been kind of more psycho. I feel. Anyways, Maggie's the one with the with she, she's the marked one. Yep, she's the marked one, which underrated movie by the way. Um <laughs> and that's why she's more connected to Carlita. Yep. And that's why they lured her ass back to Rome so she can fuck the devil, bro. Her dad. Her daddy. Mhm. And Brendan was kind of like Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan was not expecting this. Which uh they're like, "Oh, he's he's supposed to be born at at six you, o'clock, June six, and it which was midnight. Is, it's already. midnight, so in six hours. Yep. So, so when I heard that, I'm like, damn, she don't even look pregnant. But then in my head, I'm like, it's a voodoo pregnancy. Yep. It happens a lot faster. Seed of yep. Chucky, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is when they reference Seed of Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> um. But then she starts going kind of crazy. Like they try to hold her ass down, and she's like, "You better get your hands. I will fucking kill you." Yep. And I was like, oh, "Okay." She's the devil's daughter. Too. Mm-hmm. So their plan is to leave Rome without being noticed. So they try, but they get into a car accident on purpose, and yeah, she get being uh, followed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she starts being possessed, and she does her dance. She does the possession. Yeah. Shakira, Shakira. Yep, loved it. Gonna talk like loved that. it. <laughs> and too bad the woman go mad. <laughs> Her milky, bloody water breaks, and, she's and the stomach starts to grow. Yep. Which, um, so I found this a little interesting because, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, in the possession possession movie, she's having a miscarriage. She's having a miscarriage, mm-hmm. and she just doesn't get birth to anything. In this movie, because it's the American version, she's it's basically like on a match to that movie. Mm-hmm. I feel like the fear of it is instead of having her mi- have a miscarriage or anything, she's forced to give this baby up. Because mm-hmm. in America, you can't have an abortion, basically, because mm-hmm. it's not your body. They mm-hmm. don't think it's your body. So mm-hmm. the government controls it, basically. So I feel like it's an interesting way of like doing that same shot, but like americanizing to the well she's the she's, whole yeah fear. she's be, well she's being forced to have a baby that first she didn't want and she didn't know she was having yeah 
and then, then yeah. and then she has it and they want to take it away from her so exactly mm-hmm. so it's a a really fucked scene that happened also immediately like they just grab her ass and mm-hmm. they send her back to the to like this like weird so as she's thing. being well it's the church but it's like i guess under, it's underground. underground or something and this is when she starts realizing that this is where she was the night of the club because of the paintings, the paintings. on the ceiling um but the cardinal lawrence kind of comforts her in this scene and and you know not the best way but she gives birth to twins yep. a, a boy and a girl and they're very happy about the boy because he's he looks, always been girls mm-hmm, or they look deformed yeah right yeah um so this is a good thing yay boy was born yay yeah. that's what they wanted yeah let's go um and she goes and looks at next to her she grabs a scalpel. The yep. scalpel goes missing, if you mm-hmm. notice. I do. Yep. Yep. And we also find out that Silva's her mom here, yeah. too. Uh, you know, mother must comfort mother or whatever. Uh, yeah, because it, what it seems is like that Sylvia has been having sex with the priest to, like, give birth to, like, the Mark one to then give birth to the Antichrist. That's what I got from it. Oh. Father, I got... Was it the Lawrence guy? Was it yeah, him? yeah. I thought she had sex with the devil, which is why where Margie was born from. If you notice, they say that he's not human. So what I think is that that's the, he's like the embodiment of the devil. So I don't know. I think he's born from the devil. Cardinal? The cardinal, yeah. So why isn't he the Antichrist? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the pendaz works in the uh-huh. religious... I just I just got that they've been trying for years since Silva was one of the girls that tried, you know, fucking Satan. But Maggie was born. I and guess. then Maggie's supposed to be the one to or you know, whatever the baby that's supposed to Yeah. Because it kinda alludes that the devil is having sex with them. We just didn't know. And it's it's just I caught what Brennan said. Brennan was like, That man is not human. He's anything but human. Did you not mention the when she was watching the birth? Oh yeah, we didn't mention that. Oh, I forgot. It's because we I talked about it in the beginning how the hand yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah she does faint <laughs> yeah that's a lot I was like oh with Dinah <laughs> that's what you see yeah like, just a hand the devil coming honestly out. though that's the shot I saw on Twitter which made me want to watch this movie even You're like, more what the fuck? I was like what is happening in this movie <laughs> yeah. That There's something about sick. a hand coming out of any hole, to be honest, that always intrigues me. Like, this is really creepy. No, yeah. It's like I, the I, Evil Dead poster. Because it's it. not like what you're supposed to see. Nope. That's not normal. Mm-hmm. That's not like a, I think you see a fucking <laughs> demon hand. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. It's always it, hands or anything coming out of something that's not supposed to come out of. It's kind of oh. like, huh. Interesting. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just saw what... I don't know if Brendan maybe meant it as like... He's not human as like his actions are not human. Like, That's what I thought. Maybe. Because to me, they're having sex with that creature. Yeah, Because he does get on top of them, and we just don't see it because we're seeing it from the clothed face. Yeah, I guess that's true, because they do cover her up. So I and guess... Then you, and you see the creature grabbing on their body and whatever. Yeah, Also, the, the devil dick. I see the shot of the devil dick. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to see that. Yeah. Um, Pretty sure that's what it was. But, okay, I guess that makes more sense then. Because I always thought, like, he was supposed to be, like, an, like a... They're, mm. they're having kids, and he's just, like, a devil himself. Uh, but I don't know. It could, we do see that the demon get on top of her. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. but yeah. Anyways, she gives birth. Because they also open the curtains and walks up. The devil walks up to wherever he's supposed to walk up to do his business. Yeah. He does also, right before he gasses her, he, like, levitates backwards into that dark thing mm-hmm. so like that's why i was like maybe he's supposed to be like a devil oh maybe well i don't know anyways um she grabs a scalper mm-hmm. scalpel she has an idea of like let's just fucking kill this baby mm-hmm. and they're like hey i need i need to be in contact with her and they're like of course of course yeah. they're like taking care of her now and they give her the baby and she stabs a motherfucking priest in the sh- in the in the, in the throat mm-hmm. dies and she she does the <laughs> ready, ready or not just Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she wants to stab the boy but she can't yeah, of course i get it you yeah. just gave birth it's yours i get it um but Bruh. this is what's gonna end the world you want this baby <laughs> yeah. yeah uh but loose betrays her stabs her as well they take damien and Fuck Luz, bro i know that was sisters bro. she wasn't she's not a real one no um and they're like let's burn the church down with her and the girl in it but she is saved by carlita yep when they said they said have them burn let them both burn 
I don't know if she meant the boat or that demon that's down there with them because we find out that they just left that demon to die. They're like, yeah. fuck you. The so, curtain's falling. There's like a creature. Yeah, so the funny thing about... I think she meant her and the baby. I feel like at this point, they also just betrayed the creature and like, oh, Damn. we don't need you anymore. Now we have him. Yeah. But at the same time, it's also Satan. So it's like you burning him, it, he lives in hell. <laughs> yeah. Is it really doing anything? That's a good point. He'd be like, oh, this is nice. But he also looked like he was in anguish pain. So I don't know what was happening. Yeah, I That's guess. one of those things I was like, oh, well, whatever. Well, it's like, we'll forget about it. But it seemed to me that they're like, oh, we don't need him yeah, anymore. Yeah, because we have now Now Damien. we have Damien. So it's like, okay, cool. But now we find Carlita goes down. Also, it doesn't make sense that Carlita was there to me, but we'll let it slide too. Also, she yeah. somehow escaped the church. Look, maybe nobody was in church because they were mm-hmm. all like, hey, let's go see Damien's birth. Oh, that's you know? true. They were all So they, they probably all left there. him alone. I'm surprised she wasn't locked up. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't lock her ass mm-hmm. or either. But she grabs him, grabs the baby, and mm-hmm. they run, They they leave. And this is when we see the, the demon kind of like screaming in anguish pain. And then they just disappear yeah and then we get that the boy is gonna be with the governor of rome Mm -hmm. or the ambassador of rome because his baby's gonna die and they're not gonna say nothing to the mother they're just gonna keep it a secret and just do like a baby swap pretty much which in in the original that's how this is where it begins oh there's a whole baby swap they're the dead baby and then that's what it felt like to me i was like this feels like the setup of the first movie like Mm -hmm. works they're explaining the plan that's going to happen in the movie. And that's how it starts. Yeah. And gotcha. The guy gets to the hospital. They're telling him, I'm like, oh, just take this baby. Since yours died, your wife will not know. Was it the governor of Rome or was it in this America? A ba- ambassador, of, ambassador of Rome. Was it in Rome? Mm-hmm, I think. Or was- no, I think it's in America because it, it zooms out and it's in America. I thought we... St- I don't know. I don't remember. I could have sworn they said Rome because I think Did in they- the sequels, he ends up with the president's... Oh, okay. Then, as then the president's maybe, son. Yeah. The Which is weird. Of Rome. The uh, spoiler alert, he ends up killing his parents in the original. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I the dad that. almost kills him and then the dad gets shot and apparently he ends up with the president gotcha. as the president's son. It's, it's, in America. it's in America? Okay. They, they give the son to an American yeah. Uh, That's okay. what I was like. I think, it, the, I, I think I, we zoom out and it's. I thought, it takes place I thought in the America. subtitle said Ambassador of Rome. I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they basically do the baby swap, which. I, was the baby dead? Because he says the the father's gonna suffer uh, a tragedy, and we're gonna give him this other. So baby. here's what I don't know. I don't know if it was born dead. That's what I was thinking. Or they managed to like kill the the baby. Yeah, I'm a, What I'm thinking happened is that since the baby were both 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 born at the same time, and Damien's alive, and this one was really born dead because it was like. I'm not God's plan, Satan's plan. Yeah, yeah, God's yeah. plan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I can understand that because then we th- have this and it cuts the black, mm-hmm. but then it fades back into uh, Margaret with Carlita and their second child, their daughter, or their mm-hmm. daughter, mm-hmm. I guess. All sisters and mo- and mom, moms, <laughs> aunties, <laughs> nope, all of it. <laughs> and they're all like together in like a cabin in like the middle of nowhere mm-hmm. and then we have like a figure coming into the house and a shotgun comes up and mm-hmm. margaret has a shotgun it's like get out of here you need to go yeah and it's brendan being like hey i, I didn't want to bother you guys but uh they know you're alive mm-hmm. you weren't survived they're gonna be looking for you mm-hmm. um which i i don't know how i felt about like the hostility because i was like brendan was helping you the whole time i guess she just doesn't trust any man no <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Because I was like, he's a real one. He was like mm-hmm. trying to let you know from day one. So I don't know. It felt weird to me. I was like, I wish yeah. she would have like been like, what's up? What's going on? What's I, happening? I, I think she just wants to keep isolated from anyone. Yeah. She, not tr- she was also with him when they got into the accident. So I guess that I makes know. sense. But basically, uh, he goes to walk away, wants to leave them alone. But then he says, hey, they gave him a name and his name is Damien, mm-hmm. which is set up. And you're going to have to all go fight. Yeah. So I wonder... If they're going to make a sequel to this, I wonder how the daughter is going to come into play. Like, is she the only one that can kill Damien? No, I think all of them can. Anyone can, to be honest. It's just from what I'm from what I'm seeing in the sequels, anyone that tries to ends up dying because magically someone else appears and saved the kid. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how he dies in the third one because I pray he dies. Yeah, because then the fourth one is about his daughter that no one mm-hmm. I guess no one knew he had. Gotcha. But. It like, would be interesting if, like, the, the she, even though she, 
how, how do I say this? Even though they were born twins, is is still good versus evil, mm-hmm. and she has the power of light or whatever. And yeah, of course, the boy is the evil one, and she's yeah, she, he's the antichrist. She's the pro Christ. Pr- yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see. I hope hopefully, hopefully there's another. Yeah, one. we don't know if she even has a mark either. Exactly, she probably has. I mean, I'm assuming she would. Or what if they don't have marks? Or what if she's stronger than him and she's really the? That's what I'm thinking. I think it's like they they were they were more worried that the baby was alive, mm-hmm. not not that Carla uh, uh, Margaret was alive, more that the girl was mm-hmm. alive. So I was like, huh, I wonder what this girl. How how can she affect the story? They can Damien? they can flip and it's like, oh, the girls are actually stronger than the boys, and the the church was wrong the whole time. Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. she got the power of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, there goes the first omen. The first omen, and maybe not the last. Maybe we'll see. Well, we haven't had an omen since two thousand six. So. We'll get the second omen. That's the second movie. Oh, I would. You know, they should name him like that. <laughs> the first omen too. It's like what you mean no. the second. Uh, uh right. no, the first omen, second coming. Uh, <laughs> second coming, okay. Uh, all right. So like we do with every movie, we go to Letterbox and we give it a rating and a review. So Carlos, what is your rating and review? Um, I said Nail Tiger Free gave a hell of a performance. No pun intended. I'm not really into religious horror, but the first omen between the beautiful shots and the score makes me really want it. Makes me really see it as one of a kind. Okay. Okay, I love that. Thank you. Um, I give it a three, mm-hmm. and I said, and then and they say the gays are the problem. That's true. The gays. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and these motherfuckers out here trying to give birth to the antichrist. I know. Like solution. I know. It, it, it the solu- the solution is get the gays on your side, and maybe people will start believing. Maybe. Instead of hating Be- on stop them, stop being judgmental. I know. So Carlos, mm-hmm. who's the daddy of the movie? Uh, I'm gonna give it to Margaret because she served. Okay, she served C word. She did serve C word. Mm-hmm. She didn't deserve this. No, she at didn't. All. But she did what best she could, and yeah. also she took she took action. Yeah, she was like, "Bitch, I'm done with y'all, motherfuckers." Okay. Did Did you want her to die? No. Okay. No, not Margaret. Okay. Everyone else. I don't know if you like the ending was like, oh, it would have been better. Like, no, 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 she no, no, died. no. I. It was very undeserved that she the way she was treated. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I kind of like because it makes me think they're gonna do more. So I'm that's like, why that's why I was like, oh, they're probably gonna branch out another timeline, which I kind of hope they do. That'd be kind of cool. I'd mm-hmm. be interested to see how they do it and if they do anything different from the original. I just want an action movie like motherfucker Damien out of nowhere spawns out like fucking devil wings, and, and then she spawns out devil wings too, and they start fucking going at it in a city. I don't know. Let's go crazy with it. We already had a really good solid story. No, let's get crazy. Let's just ruin it. Let's get crazy. <laughs> let's make it Jaws of Revenge. Oh, Lord. let's just get crazy. Oh no 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 no. But my daddy of the movie, I was gonna give it to Sister Goth. Mm-hmm. I don't know her name, but it's the one that hung herself and burned. Angelica. Is that Angelica? Yeah. Angelica. Oh, Angelica. Angelica. I just call her Sister Goth the whole time because she looked like me also. <laughs> but I give it to her because I don't know. She kind of served. Yeah. Also. She gave her a kiss as well yeah, before and, she went. And peace. you notice that no one saw it? Yeah, nobody was paying attention. No, and I was like, happy pride. I was like, damn. That girl's a lesbian. Margaret was o- appalled by it. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, she sinned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll give it to her too. But um, No kills. No kills at all. Any I, favorite scare? Favorite scares. Favorite scare. I did like the... Uh, that, okay. that one's pretty creepy. Mm-hmm. I like I like when Mark I like when Margaret shows up burnt and naked in her. That room. was actually that one was really fucked up. That was such a slow like scare. It was really well done mm-hmm. and the makeup looked fantastic as well. I like that one. Yeah, that was a that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, right? I think so. Yeah. Alrighty, but yeah, guys. So that's it for this episode. That's it. You want to mouse the announce the second episode for this yeah, week? Yeah, I'll mouse the second episode. <laughs> I we are not we're retiring the roulette of horror for a couple of weeks I believe uh we're gonna watch Maxine next week mm-hmm. so no roulettes of horror that's why you don't hear it yeah that's what I thought um and we also have a bonus episode coming out in the after two days after this one so stay tuned yep so Fourth of July yeah. I know y'all are gonna be having fun but if y'all not doing anything y'all gonna have you're gonna have us with you yeah you are <laughs> yep it's the it's will this be the first series we finished completely 
Mm-hmm. I think it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. That's why we got to celebrate. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a playlist. I'm going to do a playlist with those, the, that, that franchise. Oh, I should just say it. Oh, it's the Joss. <laughs> We're doing Joss, Joss the Revenge, Revenge baby. Yeah. Which, have you heard from Carlos in the last episode? Okay, y'all. I want y'all to do me a favor since y'all have two days. Go listen to all the Jaws episodes in order. I did that at my work the other day, and it was such an adventure to hear me go from, this is good. Next one's good, too. Never mind. It was not. But anyways, just go through the, and you also see how the Horror Daddies have progressed over the years. Mm -hmm, Like the first one, like the first movie, we didn't do reviews. It was no video. Oh, yeah. It was no video. No video. We And we didn't do reviews at the end. We we did. Oh, we, 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 we didn't fuck, marry, kill. (laughs) <laughs> um, <laughs> that's crazy. Some, and there was something. Oh, favorite? Did we do favorite quotes? I don't remember doing favorite quotes either. Wow, that was very new. And then the second one, we that's when we were doing the f- one star and five star reviews. Oh yeah, and that was the one with the very cunty, uh, uh, uh thumbnail that I still love. Oh, with the with the yeah 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 I remember I remember. And then the third one, that's when we did our own reviews. But the third one is actually really funny. I was like, wow, we've come a long way. So I can't wait for this. One. You hear Carlos going, you know, I I think for th- this one's not that good, but the fourth one, it's pretty good. <laughs> so you'll hear my thoughts. So we'll see. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's my first time ever. Well, I've known things about this mo- this new movie. Uh, so we'll see. I know you've seen it last. You saw it last year. Mm-hmm. So we'll see him all day. We'll see if my thoughts stay the same. <laughs> So stay tuned. I know for he's that. Gonna, he's gonna hate it, but I'm. Like, oh, you never know. It's crazy. You never know. Okay, y'all. So stay tuned as we talk about Jaws Revenge in a couple of days. Yep. And next week, Maxine. Yes. Ooh. And remember. Oh well. <coughs> no, no. Woo, woo, Maxine. <laughs> Triple X. But remember. <laughs> and remember. Stay spooky and believe in the Lord Jesus Antichrist. And see you in your dreams. Horror daddy. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.